Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Untitled Goose Game. Not Mario Wonder. Don't worry. I am, as ever and as always, your host, the Tired Runner. Today, I want to talk... I'm going to talk about this briefly. For those of you not aware, this was actually a placeholder name until they decided to actually uh, just, just run with it, because why not? Um, but, uh, no. Pillars of Snow. I haven't actually played it yet. My niece has, though. But I wanted to comment on one thing really quick that amused me about this, and that's the fact that I've actually played Untitled Goose Game already a little bit, which is rare. Usually I don't play games before I stream them uh, on purpose. But my niece really wanted to play this with me because it has co-op. And both of us were effectively falling over dying of laughter at how absolutely horrifically evil you can be. Why are you allowed to be this evil in this game? <laughs> and I was, as I was playing through it, I was reminded, because I have a good memory, of a webcomic that I saw years and years and years ago. It was from Zlartek. Thank you, Zlartek. Always appreciate it. I will jot that down for some things, if you give me a minute. Dragon Quest 8 3DS, The Messenger, and Sea of Stars. You got it. Hey, Tara. Um, and the comic has... It's only the second level of the Untitled Goose Game. Already be, I'm being asked to do some morally ambiguous things. Like what? Well, here, I'll show you. So I'm supposed to steal Bethany's diabetes medication and then bring her a Snickers. And the other guy's like, oh, God, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Put down the switch now! And that's Untitled Goose Game, in a nutshell. It is on PC, yeah. ported to the switch. Just a few things. Uh no, sub zero. It just means it's cheaper for you, that's all. Happy New Year's, Tara. Enjoy your stream. Press Y to honk. Probably is five. I don't actually know what engine this is. My first guess would be Unity, just because all the these games are on Unity. Good morning, Sean. Come on. Before we begin, now that I've updated the thank you list, list, I do want to say shout-outs and thank you to the people who helped fund this game. Alex Corbianiki, Ciela underscore, Churen, Peznator, 
uh, one of our majority shareholders, Savacom, and our other majority shareholder who also put the game on the list, Evo Iliani. Thank you all of you very, very much for keeping the lights on. So, let's talk game design for a second. Very, very, very minimal, minimalistic interface. However, uh, text pop-up for tutorial, which uh, isn't the best, I'm not going to lie. But there is definitely stage design to inform tutorializing as well. We get, a, we get a nice big open area where we can figure out how running works and how turning doesn't work while running. We're even inclined to go in a circle as a result of that. As soon as we move forward a little bit, we immediately bonk into a thing and we cannot progress until we figure out how to duck. So we have to duck to progress. Okay. We immediately get some stuff to interact with. And there's just a small little area here we can pick up things and drop them around. None of this really matters, to my knowledge. You can just have access to that. And both of the things you can interact with are not only obvious, but we've got that little indicator when you get close to them. So, boop. Not a terrible tutorial. I've seen better, but I think that might actually be one positive word. Excuse me. Savicom. We're of course going to be a dick, as is our want. Geese are rule zero violators. I leave you one sandwich to bemoan in your final moments. Oh, shoot. Okay, hang on. New plan, new plan. Come with me. So, we actually have a quest list, too, by the way. It updates on the fly, too, so that's kind of neat. Exactly, Judo Joker. I just want to make absolutely sure that whoever has that one last bit of sandwich is in as much misery as possible. That would have still needed. Pumpkin, carrot, jam, thermos, radio, and... Oh, the rest of the sandwich. More sandwich. More sandwich. Yes. Yes, behold. You know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can improve this with some music.
Clearly we need a different song for this kind of a thing. Let's go with the music we were using earlier. Hang on, there it is. Here. There we go. Okay, we're good. Still need jam thermos, and of course, we need to replace the radio. I mean, you realize this game is going to count for 2024's games. Despite the fact that we'll beat it today. So, yeah, you can absolutely list most evil character or best villain as the goose. What's the difference, Sub-Zero? Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> My first thought was, again? And that really is the only thought I have on that matter. Let's grab some jam over here. Very appropriate music so far. I'll turn off the Metroid music in a second. He wasn't using that wig anyways, come on. The 
This is hilarious with a second player, because they can kind of just run interference for you. Yay! That was the only one my, the kiddo and I didn't get last time. Just making him wear the hat. Don't you understand, Trihexia? We are the alien. And all I'm missing is the radio, I believe. We can zoom in. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, right, sorry, the humans are the aliens. That's even better. Okay, go, go plant your thing. I don't care about your tulip anymore. It's all about the radio. There we go. Hey, Bamber, whoa, one second, one second. Uh, sure, Bamber. All you have to do is tell me what that is. And I got your back. Let's see around the table. There we go. Tick, tick, get. So all I need is the rake and the hammer, and that's easy. Thank you, Bamber, for the sub. Always. What? Hang on. I believe you can only drag the lake, the, the rake to the lake. Tunic, Axiom Bird, and the Messenger. You know, I have a friend who is playing Tunic, and I just, I, I was really confused by that, because I was like, why would you enjoy that game? And they were like, oh, I love games like this. And I was like, I think they're crazy, personally. Alright, let's go find the love of the rake. Oh, let me stop the Metroid music finally. Sorry. I meant to turn that off like five minutes ago. Sorry, sorry, YouTube Bob watchers. Yes, I'm I'm literally Hitler, I get it. You'll never find it here. Listen, Savik. <laughs> okay, he's he's gonna be a minute. Let's go find the rake. While he's doing that. Shovel. Can we zoom out. Oh, we can zoom out. There we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yep, I am as ever your dancing Hitler. gonna grab it back. That is expected. Then we're gonna drag him over here. Now that he's distracted. There we go. Break in lake. Now we're just going to be an innocent, innocent goose. Nothing's going on here at all. We're just watching.
Palpatine giving him. That's an easy answer. Yes, this is why geese should not be allowed to have hammers. So that's stage one and our intro. Let's see. I'm thinking 87 pluses for evil. 37 pluses for evil. Well, in fairness, I've played this before, Mr. Red. So I, I kind of knew what I was doing. Also, Evo is shouting instructions at her screen as loud as she can, so much so that I can physically hear her here. Mm. So right now I'm thinking atmosphere and brickwork. Boop, boop. Materialization, intro, all roads lead to Rome, and visual distinction. Boop, 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 boop. If I'm being honest, though... Nice, Spartan. Um, I think I am going to give a negative for controls. I was already kind of thinking of this one. It's probably... It was the only negative I had in mind before we even started this review. And, yeah... The controls aren't great. There's there's nothing around that. There's not there's nothing else for that. Um like they are they are jank. And and that's exactly what it is. Uh I'll jot down potentials for doodads, humor, because this is a funny game. And um I think we'll pause there for the moment. Alright. Stage two. This is new this is mine now. This is mine. Yeah, no, ever since they introduced Chromie Time and then improved it, leveling is just a treat in WoW. Unlike, say, FF14, for example. Or Guild Wars 2. Oh, God, I hate leveling in Guild Wars 2. Oh, no, not this kid. No! No, this poor kid. This poor kid. Uh I feel so bad for this kid. Give me that. It's mine now. Try to shoo me off, I'll show you. Sound is gone? Oh, sorry. There we go. You need you need to say something about that. Cause I'm not in the habit of being brain hammery. Thank you, Pillars of Snow. Oh, and if you want to be in the Discord, uh, ask Frigwin. She's awesome about that. Or Zeiss. He does that sometimes, too. Rax can do it, too. But no one else. And if you want to put that out towards up to three things, please let me know. As a reminder, we've done this stage. Or I've done this stage, Evo. Alright, so. Hey. Okay, was it, was it someone else, then? Hmm. Never mind, then. Ignore me. I'm dumb and stupid. Hey, kid. Go that way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way, kid. Go this way. I will eat you. I will eat your brains. Okay, I'll leave you over there. I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone.
See, obviously we're a dick, but like, who's the bigger dick? Us, who stole the plane and gave it to the, the woman, or her, who is selling the plane back to the kid, charging him for his plane. That is his. God. Yeah, you know you're on stock, right, lady? Okay, so tunic, one shot, sunless skies, and then Pillar's nose is going towards uh, Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, aka Bugsaholic, and FF16. You got it. Thank you, both of you. Okay. Hey, kid. Mix the glasses, kid. Kid, here's your glasses. Get out of here. These <laughs> here are your glasses. I think we're evil. Somebody, it's not loading. I don't care. There it is. Jesus Christ, this game. And by game, I mean interface. It's from Infernal. We do look very innocent. So, HOI 4, Old World Blues, Fallout, London, London, I can spell. Alpha Centauri. Actually, I already saw that that comment. Uh, I think that was you. I saw a comment very similar to that on, on my YouTube comments. I still don't agree with it, but I still agree with it. So I'm with you. Thank you very very much for the donation. I guess I guess my overall point is that it's kind of irritating to me that we've gotten game after game after game that has held itself up to a higher standard and has been showcasing how games can and should be. And then Baldur's Gate 3 comes out, and everyone's like, hey, finally a game that's doing this. And it's like, but what about, like, all the other games that just did that? Like this. <laughs> anyway, so, gonna go over here now. Uh, okay, so what do we need to put in here? Uh, toothbrush. Blue paper. Definitely British. Toothbrush, toilet paper, hairbrush. Uh... 
Yeah, well, those devs are stupid and have no idea what they're talking about, Loner. Get Baldur's Gate 3 invented player choice. I stand by what I've said. Baldur's Gate 3 is a damn good game, but it kind of honestly irritates me how much people act like it's just some brand new amazing thing. It, it's like... I don't even think I have an analogy for what it's like. Oh, whoops. Thank you for reminding me. What God, look, I'm tired. Like, okay, I'm sorry. This year, we had Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, cool. We also had Final Fantasy 16, Resident Evil 4 R, Street Fighter 6, Alan Wake 2, Pikmin 5, or 4, excuse me, uh, Hi-Fi Rush, Sea of Stars, um, Armored Core 6, Dredge, which, speaking of which, um, Day of the Diver, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Tears of the Kingdom, like, this has actually been a bang-up year for games. And it is kind of irritating to me that so much of um, popular media is focusing entirely on either Baldur's Gate 3, if they want to be positive, or the, f the failure dreck we've had this year, if they want to be negative. Like, everyone's like, ah, oh, Starfield sucks, ah, oh, Gollum sucks. Uh, what else did we have? We had... That, that terrible King Kong game and Days Gone or Days Lost, whatever the hell that stupid scam game was. And it's like, but we also had uh, Dream, Return to Dreamland R came out this year. System Shock 1 R came out this year. Uh, we had Mortal Kombat 1, which by all accounts is actually really good, despite being named wrong. Um, Lies of P has been getting some really good stuff. I've heard really good things about Assassin's Creed Mirage. FF16. Jedi Survivor, if it's not on PC. Oh yeah, and Mario Wonder. I don't know if I mentioned that one already, but Mario Wonder. But no, 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 no. Baldur's Gate 3 is totally the bestest. Right. <sighs> Sorry. I'll stop being irritated by it at some point, I swear. Yeah, no, this has been a legit year for games. Now, that makes sense. Uh, this is the um, this is the result of COVID year. Every game that came out this year is games that should have come out over the last two years. So, you know that that's why so many games have come out this year. Good, bad, or in between. No, I agree, Judah Joker. This has been one of the best gaming years we've had ever. I'm not saying it is the best, but it's definitely in contention for it. Yeah, I remember my niece and I had a hell of a time shopping in this one. Remind me what came out in 98. I don't remember off the top of my head what came out in 98. Uh, okay. I will accept that. Like, I mean, that's not untrue, but that's the same exact thing I was just talking about. We just had a lot of games come out this year. The fact that we've only had four stinkers and two d dis disappointing games in a year this stacked with great games is crazy. I'm honestly shocked at how good this year has been for gaming. Okay, so Half-Life came out in 98. Oh, there's Gate 1. Okay, so that was a bad year for gaming, then. 
Resident Evil 2, Xenogears, eh. StarCraft, Gran Turismo. I always forget Gran Turismo is that old. I never actually played Rainbow Six, so I can't speak to that. Oh yeah, we also had Cyberpunk functionally come out this year. Who knows, next year maybe Baldur's Gate 3 will come out. Let's see, toilet paper, canned food. You're naming a whole lot of games I don't like, Cloner. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Ocarina. Okay, there we go. We're up to one game. I guess two. Two games I like. Um, canned food, cleaner, a fruit, and a vegetable. Canned food. I mean, I think your solid one was fine. Uh, we've actually reviewed it at this point. I forget how well it reviewed, to be honest with you. But, like, you know. Yay. <laughs> I much prefer three. Uh, let's see here. That's an interesting question. I wonder which game is selling well, better right now. Baldur's Gate 3 or Starfield? Because I bet you it's Starfield. <laughs> Not that it's indicative of quality, obviously. It's just... There's something someone mentioned earlier, and Blade 12 just reminded me of it just now, is games that enter into popular... Uh, popular consciousness, they just sell better because there's so many more people who are aware of the game, and therefore they go ahead and they buy the game, right? It's, it's why Skyrim is one of the best-selling games of all time. Not because it's the best BRPG, not because it's a good RPG, or not because of anything whatsoever, just because everybody knows about Skyrim. It has entered popular consciousness, and so more people buy it. That's that's a really, really normal thing. That's true for games, movies, books, shows, music, food. <sighs> you know that mom and pop place that makes really, really good burgers? Yeah, McDonald's outsells that, because everybody knows about McDonald's. That's a bad analogy, but it's it's still true. Uh, so we'll just put that towards the WoW stuff. Thank you, the Wizard of Pog. Much appreciate. I agree, O40. The other thing, and I always feel the need to mention this, um, is that I haven't actually been following it later. I know they did a big patch and they added some Act 3 stuff, but I don't know if it's done. I imagine when we see a Definitive Edition, it will be considered done. And yes, I did see that nonsense video about people blaming Larian for the fact that Hasbro nuked a whole bunch of people this year. And not only is that factually incorrect, it's kind of a nonsense perspective to take to begin with. Like, Baldur's Gate 3 has been selling quite well. But I digress. Um... I was just saying, God, I'm tired. Uh, it's okay, we got loo paper. I don't even know what this is, but we're going to put this over here. Um, mom and pop shop, you know, music, food, games. Why is TNG better than DS9? Because more people know about it. That's why TNG got the Blu-rays and DS9 has old DVDs which do not, to this very day, have proper audio. Yeah, really, by the way. Uh, if you've ever listened to the, the DVDs of DS9, uh, everything's just a little bit higher pitch. Everything's just tilted up just a little bit. And it's the kind of thing that after you listen to it for a while, you kind of start to tone it out. But the moment you listen to it compared to what they're actually supposed to sound like, it's like, whoa. 
the same actually thing the same exact thing happened to TNG by the way the TNG DVDs have the same audio pitch problem and then the Blu-rays fixed that so yay uh, fruit and veg carrot you know me gotta have a carrot it's fine Savakam I can't read I'm a goose Oh yeah, that's what I was in the middle of saying. The thing I feel the need to always mention is that sales figures are uh, not only misleading, but they're the only sales figures we have is what the companies themselves tell us. Now, there are there are some um, there's some nuance to that. There are some things that kind of get in the way of people just. Companies just flat out straight up lying about their sales figures. But at the same time, it's worth noting that there are companies that just straight up lie about their sales figures. So. Alright, I need to find something. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, where is it? Is this it? No. Where's the Walkman, Evo? There's 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 two Walkmans, radio, two way radios. I'm not having trouble finding it. I know they, and maybe they only exist in two-player mode. Because I don't see them at all. Hmm. So, I guess I'll just tell you what I was going to do. So, well, hang on. Maybe it's maybe it's further down here. Let's see if we can find it. First, let's knock over the trash. Oh, here they are. Yay, Walkmans. Walkmans. <laughs> this is perfect. You lied to me, Evo. You lied to me. So, <clears throat> yeah, walkie-talkie. Sorry, two-way radios. Like I said. Is why I wanted the walkie talkies. <laughs> I'm particularly proud of that strategy because my niece came up with it. Let's go shopping. You'll notice, so to speak, obviously we're just kind of screwing around and chilling a little bit because I'm half asleep and dumb, but you'll notice that there is some legitimate, honest-to-goodness game design despite being relatively simple. The game actually encourages you to think of different ways to accomplish some objectives, and there's usually at least three, uh, and I did actually look up several of these, at least three ways to accomplish most of the objectives in this game. We have a term for that. We call it All Roads Lead to Rome. Toothbrush. And how did you? Oh, whatever. 
Where's the toothbrush? Nothing in here. There's just glasses. You lied to me, Evo. Twice you've lied to me today. You know what the punishment for lying to me is? That trash can. Okay, gotcha. Why would that surprise me, Gum Gum? There it is. There it is. I think she fixed her broom. So the way the AI works in this game is they have priorities, and those are actually all pre-baked in, and they will focus in on one priority until they have accomplished it. However, you can play with that, especially if you have two players. Because if you have two players, you can have one person who's doing priority three and another person who's doing priority two, and they will immediately drop priority three to go do priority two. Now, it's generally a good system, and it's very smart, and it's worth noting that it's kind of cool how they will just kind of do their own thing. But, like I said, if you know exactly what the priority list is, you can just mess with them, and they'll just be like, uh, uh, 30, go to 10. Shadow Machine. That is, of course, up to you. But you're right. I've not, not only blah, 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 I have not only never covered Mirror's Edge. I've never played them. Uh, I guess we're actually done with this area. Moving on. Listen, listen, listen. Of course these people deserve to be tormented by a goose. They're British. Uh, no, no, and no. Gum gum. Uh, sanity. Gum gum. Gotta get the Dark Souls shortcut. There we go. Look, I'm all in favor of doing whatever the hell you want to when it comes to game design. But, uh, I'm also in favor of having a brain. I know that's strange. Ah, okay, other side. Mm, yeah, I absolutely believe it. The overall gameplay loop of this game is near identical to Hitman. So, that tracks. There's your objective. Here's lots of stuff that you can play with and that people will interact with in the, in the level. Make it happen. 
hell, I've been wanting to make a Hitman-style game based on um, playing as a cat for years now. Shadow Machine. Why would you do this? That's yeah, true. Cats are also dicks. The last mission. Topple the Christmas tree. It's actually so much harder to do than it sounds. That's the best part. Ugh. Shoddy craftsmanship. You know, that's a good point. In Hitman games, you're going after evil, evil people. And you're always like a professional about it. You're just coldly killing bad people. Okay. Here, we do stuff like that. Thank you, Shadow Machine, very, very much. down the donation from Shadow Machine. Alright, so we'll make a mirror's edge block. Uh. Evo's yard here is obviously much, much messier than my yard up there.
bad geese like this aren't real, right? Right? <laughs> exactly. Thank goodness for that. Could you imagine bad geese really existing? Oh no! We stole her paintbrush. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do, we do? Drop it! Okay, we drop it. Steal the frog. And then jump over the gate. I don't think we can jump. We can flap our wings, but we can't jump. See? I think we're doomed. Yeah. It's how, okay. How do we get out here? I don't think we do. I think we're trapped. Yeah, we have to make been... that spin. <laughs> spin, 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 spin. A, a spinning flower. I've never seen that before. We can fly over. If only we could fly. But alas, we are a geese and bereft of flight. I have an idea. What's your idea? How about we get on there and then and then jump and then jump over. Oh. Sorry. Thank you, Sierra Mike. I just appreciate the sub. I'll, uh, it lo that looks like a an anniversary sub, too. Hey, so what do we need to do with him? Make him go barefoot. Make the man spit out his tea. Okay, so we got to wait until he's already taken a sip. Oh, God, my timing was just a little bit off. Make him spit out his tea, so we got to wait. we got to wait until he's drinking his tea. Then when he has finally drunk his tea. <laughs> Let me take the mat. And then we will be super duper bad guys. No, we won't. We are the evil ones. Um, yum, yum, yum. No, we won't. What up? We're playing a geese, though. We have to be the. Oh, here we go. Ready? 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 He's good. He's good. look at him. Look at him. He's taking a drink. Here he goes. Here he goes. There we go. <laughs> Evil laughter because we are bad guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I had a look. Okay, so, thank you, Sierra Mike, for four years of support. Always appreciate. Thank you. And I will go ahead and jot that down, if you give me a second. That's a four-year one, right? Yeah. I can math. I can math. So, Alan Wake block. Battle Zone 98. Battle Zone... Combat Commander. I don't see the difference, Judo Joker. Good morning, Cheddarbox. Okay, so. Uh, help the women dress up the bust. Make someone break the vase. How do I make someone break this? I'm also stuck? Like, I don't know how to get back out of here. It's, my, my way in is locked away, so... My niece was correct. I am trapped. Daddy, 
You know, you'd think I could break it myself, but whatever. She's got a toilet, uh... There's actually a term for that toilet thing. Well, let's see. How do... <laughs> That's true, Shadow Machine. I actually remember back then several people used Mirror's Edge as an example of, you know, how to avoid the brown era of gaming. Yeah, I know, I'm sure I'm not softlocked. It just feels like I'm softlocked. Either that or I'm just not paying attention right now. Can I do anything up here? Hmm. Uh -uh. I do have more objectives I can do here. But some of them I also have to do back in his yard. And I can't get back to his yard. I already ringed the bell. That, that was making the man spit out his tea. Hi, Evo. How do I get out of here? I don't think there's a let yourself get caught mechanic. They just shoo you away until they're satisfied that you're gone. Okay, we'll open the drawer again. Let's see what happens. Got it. What are you doing? Hey! Hey! That's my ribbon! You asshole! I'm stealing your pipe for that. Enjoy your pipe.
have to go, uh... Oh. Take care of some adorable children. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, he actually, he actually got the pipe. That's funny. Yep, we're just gonna accept that. Hey, Zalir. Thank you for being part of the show. Uh, as a reminder, you can now put those towards up to three things, not just uh, monetary donations. If you want to put the towards three things, let me know. All right. What am I doing? Uh... There's a statue. Gotcha. I assume that's a statue. Hey, Kimmick. How ye be? How does that even fit in there? All right, whatever, whatever. Why does it keep failing to grab his shoes? That's actually really irritating. It's like the third time I have attempted to pull his slippers off, and the game's like, no. No. The doodads in this game deserve 15,000 million million negatives for existing. How dare you have negatives in a game. I will never accept this. Ever, ever, ever. Good pick, Zillier. Good picks. Pick up the thing! Pick up the glasses, you piece of crap! Why are you so terrible? Because I'm a goose. No excuses! No! 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 God damn it! Give me your glasses! You don't deserve them! I was gonna be nice to you, and then you stole my ribbon! Hem. Okay, so, uh, Kingdom Hearts, Block, and Hitman 3, you got it. Yeah, we need to break the vase, but we need to make them break the vase. <laughs> yes, yes. Good, good. Bra, socks, slipper, soap. That's, that's gonna be a heck of a thing. I can already tell. So I'm gonna steal her vase, so she's like, oh my god, my vase. I was gonna be nice to him, Lord Haramont. I was only gonna torture him a little bit. I am gonna give another gameplay negative. I've been thinking about this for a little bit. The camera is nauseating. Although, actually, is there an option to, like, fix that? Let's try this. Let's see if that fixes the nausea a little bit, shall we? Ooh. Sorry, lady. I claim this sock in the name of Lord Geesington. Wait, what should our geese be named? What's the name of the goose? Oh. 
Lorgoose. The Loose! No, that sounds terrible. Let's not go with that. The Goose Runner. Oh, I like Goose Runner. Maverick! <laughs> Deep cut. I like it. I like it. Highway to the Goose and Zone. forget to do this. Get a highway to the goose and zone. So we're gonna do something really quick here. There we go. This. There we go. I should fix that. Give me my bra, give me my bra. My bra now. I need to lift, separate, and support. Okay, what else do we need there? Um, oh, a pair of socks, one of his slippers, and a soap. So, I've been doing a lore run of Star Trek recently. It's been awesome. Honestly, it's been a great experience. I really, really legitimately wish I could do that, like, live on camera, but obviously that's impossible. So that sucks. But um, the reason I bring all that up is something. There's there's tiny little details that I, I honestly have never even noticed before that I am noticing this time around. What? No! 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 Piss off! No! Give me that! Give me that! Give me that! This is not your sock. It's not my sock either, but it is still not yours. You asshole! Give me that! Give me that! Hey, I'm stealing your thing. Oh, oh, it won't let me. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll steal your newspaper. Hey, dude, I got your newspaper. I got your newspaper. I got your newspaper. Oh, no, you got it back. You're too smart for me, human. The reason I bring that up, the Star Trek lore run, ignoring the fact that I've been talking about it constantly lately. No! It's really, really funny how extremely obvious the boob plates have been. And it didn't start until Season 6 of TNG. Prior to that, most of the female characters were allowed to just, you know, be in uniform. But from Season 6 onwards, all the female characters have a boob plate, right? It's a freaking plaster thing in there. that, and, and it's really obvious because every woman's chest in the show is suddenly identical. And it's really weird. And awkward and, and like, inhuman looking. Damn it, he is still going to. I know what you're thinking. How did you never notice that before, Lore? I don't make it a habit of staring at women's chests. Not even Gates McFadden. God damn it, he's still going for it. Yeah, no, they're like Barbie dolls. It's like... It's messed up. Alright, fine. We need to... Uh, okay, whatever. He, yeah, he really wants that bra. Is he going for the other ones? He's going for the other ones. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. You are such an asshole. I am no longer going to be any kind of kind to you. <laughs> No, 
No, he's not allowed to have his bra. Disallowed. Yeah, you know what? I agree. Let's put his newspaper in the water. Jackass. This is what you get, sir. Enjoy the periodicals. Because that's totally what you're reading and not the comics. A real man would admit to liking to read the comics because Calvin and Hobbes is awesome. What else do I need? Um, one of his slippers, and I need to find soap. Hmm. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the vase. I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. I don't see any soap. Fine, fine. But first, newspaper. Damn it, I already used that joke, Mr. Red. I don't feel bad for torturing these people. They're British. Oh no, you got the vase from me. Well, good thing he's not gonna do that. Hey, Luke. Um. I'm gonna be honest, that did not look like soap to me, but I believe you. Yeah, you broke her vase, dude. You're gonna reimburse her for that, right? Or are you gonna be British about it? Okay, uh, all I'm missing now is his slippers. Slipper back. You really wanted to. Yeah, he's going for the soap. I figured he'd go for the soap. Screw you. I hate this guy. I want to kill him. I want to just murder him. Oh, where the soap end up? There it is. I have to get all this crap to the, the bath table without him being a dick about it. That's what I have to do. Give me that! Give me that! Give me my soap! It's not your soap! You thief who breaks vases of your neighbors. Hi, Jaluda. I tried to open the iron gate earlier. Nothing seemed to work for that. So I'm just kind of stuck here like, eh. <laughs> Open this. Oh, hi. 
Don't mind me. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here. So now we go for the psychological torture. Look at him! Look at him! He's just he's just lost it. Yeah, we've already made him spit out his tea. get that's what you get all right um <laughs> i mean okay fair enough carolinas if i'm just sitting there there's just i look over the pan there's just a goose two feet away staring at me i i admit i'd probably have some issues there uh okay uh <sighs> Okay, don't tell me how to prune the rose yet. <laughs> I still gotta do the bath, which means I wish there was a way I could get rid of him more permanently. You know, like murder him. That would be awesome if only I could. <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna stop me. I need him to get out of the friggin' way. Okay. Why do you think that's going to succeed? Uh, well... I don't know if we can break the vase, boss, again. Let's find out. Oh, looks like we can. I guess she glued it together. Uh, there we go. This sign cannot stop me, for I am incapable of reading. <laughs> so we broke that, so now we run. And he ignores the vase he just broke. Just gonna go for it. Just gonna go for it. Ah! Ah! The controls! The controls! Or lack thereof. Shoot, now he's starting to... Yeah, no, no, shoot, shoot, no, 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 no! I might skip this one, in all honesty, because this is just such a time-wasting irritant. Look at this asshole. Okay, I was actually stuck there for a minute, is what was going on. It's not his clothing, Savicom. Unless he's been sleeping with her, in which case, never mind. No, I know, Evo. That's why I was considering skipping this one. It's because it's like, this is really irritating to do. I have to slow mode five items across an entire yard while this asshole instantly notices the second I have them. And... Uh, 
You know what? I think I think we'll do that. Let's 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 just move on. Let's let's prune the rose, shall we? Honesty, if I had to do this quest, I'd probably give it a negative. I'm still debating giving it a negative. This is really irritating. Is there some trick I'm missing? Because this is a good time to mention it to me. Not the rose. With him. I mean, I'd have to do the slippers thing all over again, for example, right now. Which is just timing and irritant. We only have to get one slipper, that's a lot easier. But I know we have to get both socks. Listen, he deserves it for preventing me from washing her clothes, okay? I'm trying to do a public service here. Hey, lady. Gonna take your sock here because it's dirty. There you go. Bye. They could make a really evil version of this game if they wanted to. I know what you're saying. It already is. No, no, I mean like a really evil version of this game. Like we were joking earlier about Hitman. Just a picture leaning into that, you know. stupid this person is. Have you ever heard of the concept of object permanence? I guess I can finish the quest right now. But seriously, he watched me walk here, right? So he knows I'm right here. Like, he can clearly see me. He's staring at me right now. But now... I'm not even there anymore, in his mind. I'm gone. I'm gone. There is no goose.
He is British. It's true. Look, he thinks he see can he can't tell we're there. I just want to deprive him of both his slippers at this point, out of spite. Out of sheer spite. There! Speaking of spite. Okay, let's clip this stupid thing. Um, okay. drive the... Ooh. Oh, I see where you're going with that. Looks like you can. Oh, that's evil! That's so evil! It's very evil. That is so messed up. It's okay. He deserves it. For being a dick! Hi, Zar. I did like the Lorewalker game, yeah. It scored, bet it scored a net positive. Which, for a game made in two days, is more impressive than it sounds. say, oh, hello. This game is as chill as you make it. There's some interesting puzzle design here going on. I'm out of water. Mostly out of water. Yeah, I'll probably put this under puzzle when it comes to uh, genre classification. Now to commit a federal offense. Ah, okay. <coughs> so there's our shortcut. It's okay, Darch Monster. It was a glitter bomb. You know, that's a good point. That's a good point. This is Britain. They have rights up there. 
Who's the div? I don't know. If she wants to oust herself in chat right now, she can. With her brilliant and amazing uh, art design. See, Chemex got the right of it. If you would just drive on the right side of the road, we'd be fine. Yes, the camera is better. It was legitimately causing me some nausea issues before, but now it's like, yeah, okay, this is whatever. Huh. Give me that. Give me that. It's okay, Evo. I'll just kill all the friendship points. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Don't mind me. I'm just a very innocent geese. Very innocently being innocent. Yeah, it's like Yoshi drums inverted? I don't know, it's it's uh it's weird. play the waiting game. Let's see. Uh, let's talk about Star Trek, Star Wars, Warcraft. Um, the rewrite. Gotta plug the rewrite. Seriously, go watch the FF2 rewrite. It went live yesterday and it was awesome. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Hang on, I have a message here. Let's see. It's from my art director. She says, You suck. I hate you. May you die in the fire of a thousand suns. Love, Grandma. position. Okay, what am I trying to accomplish? Start board, toy boat, make some more, be awarded a flower.
Don't mind me, sir. Yeah, but Maverick, you can't scream Maverick when we die, really. So we gotta come up like, Mav, there you go, Mav! Mav! I was one of the, uh... I don't want to use the word developer, but I'm trying to think of a better word and I'm failing at it. I was one of the people who was in charge of making sure that several of our computers were Y2K compliant back in the day. A very simple, banal, and boring process that an Id idiot could have done, because it's a really it was a really, really simple thing to do. What I thought about it then was, this is dumb. And that's pretty much what I think about it now, too. Hmm. Oh my goodness, why are you coming after me? Oh, I see. It's because I'm evil. You can sense the evil radiating off of me, can't you? Yes, yes. Good, good. Give in to the evil side of the force. With every passing moment. I'm, I'm just getting her, her cardio in. That's all I'm after here. Mock up now. Mock up. My favorite point and click adventure? Well, uh, I can only really um I can only really pick the ones that I've reviewed, and I've only reviewed a couple, but I believe The Dig is the one that rated the highest so far. After that? Gosh, I don't know. Um, I used to play the crap out of point-and-click adventure games, but they all kind of sucked <laughs> to some extent or another. Um, I suppose I have to give special shout-outs to Star Trek... Uh, oh, God, not 25th Anniversary, the other one. don't remember what it was called. Uh, Judgment Rights. That was it. Judgment Rights. Star Trek Judgment Rights. And you're probably thinking, oh, you liked it a lot, right? No, that game sucked. Um, the first time I was ever able to beat it was literal decades after it came out when I finally had access to this thing called Game Facts. It was this brand new thing. And I looked up the solutions. If we count Phoenix Wright games, then yeah, I would probably give it to the Ace Attorney Tri Trilogy. I don't know if this game just saves, period, Mr. Red. Ah. Uh. Stray? Yeah, I could see that. So there you go. The actual answer is Stray. A surprisingly competent point-and-click adventure game. Where you play as a robot who happens to have a cat. Okay, so that's a plate. And I believe a knife. We need a fork, a pepper, and a candle. seen a pepper. Wait, actually, I think I have. Come on. Yeah, here we go. There's our pepper. 
which I'd make a joke about, but nobody would get it. Hmm. Ooh, you're getting better at multitasking. I'm very proud of you. So we need to find a fork and a candle. So let's see if we can try Kamek's idea here. The joke was, yes, 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 no, no, yes, no, yes, no, Pampas! <laughs> All over, all over, old man. So I didn't, didn't see anything I could grab there. I need a candle. I'm guessing that might be a candle? No. Oh shoot, oh shoot. No, I don't want to have to go back in here. Oh god, oh god. Okay, I see the candle. I can't have candle. Guards are patrolling. We don't that want them to know the assassination we have planned. The assassination of decency and good taste. There we go. Okay. No, that's stupid, Act. I mean, first of all, climate change as a fear-mongering is ridiculous. But second of all, Y2K was never fear-mongering. The only people who never understood what Y2K was were idiots, to be very blunt about that. And most of those idiots were managers who were freaking out at companies. Like, picture this, okay? You're in the office. And the manager comes in. Oh my god! I just heard about Y2K. The whole world's gonna explode. Are we ready? Are we ready? And the engineers look at him like he's an idiot and say, Yeah, we had that all patched a month ago. He's like, oh, okay. Just want to be sure. It's the end of the world. No, it, it, it wouldn't be the end of the world, even if that were true. You dumbass. And then we all just glare at the manager. Just, just you know, just get the derision glare going, right? What are you doing? Give me the boat. <laughs> Stop being a dick. God, I can't even move while you're doing that. There we go. Come here. Come here. <laughs> You'll never get this boat. Oh, no, you got the boat. Oh, no. The HR department. I don't even want to get off on that particular rant. Alright, um. Be awarded a flower, break the dartboard. And I still need a fork. That's right, now. <laughs> yeah, I get that one, so I'll go. Ugh. Okay, so hang on, let's find the fork first. I think that's actually it right there. It's the one on the right, I think. Nope, not that. Go pick up your stupid thing, you twit. Oh my god, quit it! Quit it! Jesus! Oh, okay, I didn't think he would chase us this far. Uh, 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 okay. Ah, ah, ah. Damn it. Okay, fine, fine, 
fine, fine. I'm gonna pull an Assassin's Creed. Oh my god, where'd he go? Are the control goods? No. In fact, I've given it a negative. Pretty much the only negative, but you know, it counts. Every little negative counts. You have you have to earn those, you know? You have to really work at it to get a negative. Unless you're Kingsfield 4. In which case, you just sweep the worst of the year awards. God. I was looking at the upcoming games. Obviously, it's only like a month's worth or so. But like, I'm wondering if Breath of Fire will already be in the running for worst of the coming year. Oh, I see. I gotta do it up here. Looks like I need a knife, not a fork. I mean, who knows? Maybe the whole year will just be great games and that'll be that. Okay, so the pepper didn't count in the night. We don't have the knife. Is that not a pepper? Is it a tomato? God, I don't know. Hang on. Is that a fork or a knife? That is a fork. Why isn't the pepper counting? Pepper shaker? What? What? Gosh darn it. Sorry, lady. I'm confiscating this for the geese empire. It's okay. You should be used to this. You're British. Stuck on the terrain. Ah, you know what? That's fair, Kira White Noise. Now we just need a knife, because apparently I didn't have a knife already. Ugh, Canadian geese are the worst. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He is just body blocking me. He is body blocking me. Okay. Okay, so. Listen. I'm just saying geese are delicious and should be exterminated from the face of the earth. Any questions? We should just... It's gonna... Whoa. It's gonna wait here a second. No reason. Don't mind me. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, is it this one? No. No. Where is it? Here we go. Sorry, I actually forgot to adjust the upcoming command. <laughs> well, 
God dang it, I don't want to be the governor of New York. Alright, first thing we do, kill all the rats. And yes, that includes pigeons. I don't think I've ever had geese. So I don't know what they taste like. If they taste like duck, I'm with it. Okay, we did it. Now let's go to the other easier things. Now that we got that crap out of the way. Look, Spl have you seen Splinter self got me? He doesn't need saving. Thank you. Put this over here with my table. No! Okay, now we gotta get make the man die and then make the man cry. Not necessarily in that order. Nice shot. making a horde. I'm secretly a dragon. Don't mind me. Steal a pint and drop it in the canal? Where's the canal relative to this? Oh, actually, I, th I know what that is. I know what that is. It on the burly man's head. How the hell? Okay. Oh, she's setting up a sign. That means we can move on if we wanted to. You just broke a glass, sir. Some bouncer you are. Nothing suspicious about that box. Man, she's strong. Look at that. Happy New Year's Eve, Evo. <laughs> and if 
you honk, she's just like, huh, how strange, the bonks just honk. And then she goes right back to what she was doing. Oh, she noticed the blade. That's funny. Excuse me, ma'am. So, <clears throat> yep, it's New Year's Evo. I celebrate that every day. We might, oh, hang on, nope, there's one more. We have to not lose this one, because it looks like it's one of the, it looks like it is the only one left. He's already seen us, Jesus, okay. Are you twat? You Ugh. wasn't even really in our way. She was just doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah. Here's the spot we're gonna drop it. Oh my god! All right, whatever. I failed that objective. What else we got? Um, drop a bucket on his head. Okay, let's find a bucket. You can also tell it's Britain because their cars are really ugly. Okay, so where is a bucket? Yeah, the US cars are super sexy. Canyonero! I have seen Soviet cars. I've driven one. It was the weirdest car ever because it was really reliable for a really long time until it broke once and then it was permanently trashed because we couldn't repair it from that point onwards. Okay, there's the bucket. Yes, we already made the old man fall on his bum. We were literally missing one part. We couldn't fix it because, you know... Get them. Those parts didn't exist. There was nowhere to get them. Car broke. End statement. <laughs> uh, see, it's funny you say that. Do I remember the model? It'd be more accurate to say I never knew the model. We all called it the Yugo. Because we were told it was from Yugoslavia. It was only later we found out it was not. And even Yugo isn't indicative because there's like several of those. Hey, dude. Sneak, sneak. Come on, come on, I'm in a hurry. No! Okay, okay. That's what you get! That's what you get! Little snot. There's always one asshole in every one of these levels. No! God damn it! You deserve to die! I'm going to murder you in your face! I'm going to kill you straight up! 
as if you were a Nazi. And I'm going to enjoy doing it. I would kill my friend Jordy if it meant I could feel the pleasure of murdering you again. God, that's such a dumb episode. Ah. Uh. Nice tomato stains. Jackass. My favorite part about that scene is the entire time he's being like, would you murder your friend Jordy to feel the pleasure of killing again? Th there's a visible security guard who's not even like back. He's like, he's like doing stuff and, you know, fiddling with the, the set and all that in the background. It's like, he's right there. He's right there. That's ignoring the fact that of course they should have, you know, actual cameras and security features in the brig where they have a Borg drone. God damn it, people. Yeah, it turns out nobody likes Jordy. I don't know. Where did that geese go? Oh my gosh. Hey, new glass. Listen, Savicom, all I'm saying is that Starfleet Security once had the entire ship taken over in like a minute and a half by, a, by like two dozen Ferengi in some several dozen year old clanky bird of praise. Some people were came down harsh on me for, for giving rascals a lamentation. I have never regretted it though. Not once. Screw that episode. Okay. Done. Nope, nope, they aren't military. That's why they have worse security than my old data center. Alright. Next zone, slash level. I'm not even sure where it is. I've been here for so long. 84 years. Hey, what's up, dude? Aw. Do I really have to go through this whole rigmarole just to get back in there? And now we play video games. Yep, yep. This is what real people do. They play video games on their phone. And for some reason, that's enjoyable. Does anybody here enjoy playing games on their phone? No judgment. I'm just legitimately curious. Alright, so Savakam, I need you to explain to my alien robot brain what is enjoyable about playing a game on the phone. I guess, obviously, you know, there's a lot of MOBAs out there, but that's not really my point. There are, pl there are several actual games on the mobile uh, format, and I hate them <laughs> because I have to play them on the phone. I just do not enjoy the act of doing this to play a video game. It's just, it doesn't work for me. It is imprecise, and it lacks tactile feedback. The whole thing feels awful.
like, my sister pointed a game at me very recently. An actual game. Um, let me, give me a second. I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's called Mini Metro. Decent little puzzler game. Fun stuff. But the problem is the controls are so imprecise that I actually failed the game. Uh, several times, because I was trying to move one of the lines over, and it was like, you mean this one? No. You mean you want to set up a new line? No, because it's a touch interface, right? And it was just... Ah! Anyways. Steal the miniature bell. Okay, that's not suspicious or anything. So here was the garden. Yep, yep, yep. After the garden, we had the shopkeep area. Then there were the two neighbors. And then over here was the pub. I think we did it. We beat the game. This is really mean. Why would you do this? Why would you do this game? Why would you do this, Dark Prince Raven? Why? All the way back home. Okay. Oh, jeez. So now we make more noise when we run. Okay. Good morning, Dark Prince Robin. Please stop giving me money. But thank you, Dark Prince Roman, very, very much. Always. And I assume when you say BTAS, you mean Batman Streaminations? Just to be very clear about that. Is it on Steam, Care White Noise? Hmm. I wonder if it has better controls there. and Blank HD Collection, then Ratchet Clank Rifts Apart. Thank you always for your support. I need to talk to my uh, secretary about getting some of these entries in entered, because I'm several days behind now on donations. It's okay, I don't blame them. They've been very busy lately. Just gonna sneak down here. No reason to uh, be suspicious of anything. Lot. Uh oh. My one weakness. Technology. I hear there's a bread simulator too. Speedruns of that game are honestly hysterical. No! They're all going to aggro now, aren't they? Oh, yeah, every single one of them is going to aggro me now. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, God. No! Give me that. Give me that. It's not... Oh, God, are you going to take it all the way back? No, 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 no. Give me here, give me here. Come here. Come here. Give me that. It's my bell. It's my bell. see me. I'm sneaky. Oh, thank you, Kemic. If you want to put that towards up to three things, please let me know. And thank you, Don. Oh, hang on. And this is my response to you. 
if you want to put the towards up to three things, please let me know. Loop. You can suggest it, Kemic. I also reserve the right to say no. That's that's how that works. What are you suggesting? Oops. Oh my god, we can zoom in even farther. That was just stealthy. Oh, another locked. They really do want me to go back through every stage, don't they? No shortcuts for me. Yep, every door is locked. Okay. Oh, they barred the path. All right, we're not here. We're not here. Sneak, 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 sneak. Oh, God, she's just like right there. Run! Run, run, run. Oh, Jesus Christ. that meme. I don't fear any man, but that thing frightens me. The Invincible. Hmm. I've never heard of it, but that doesn't mean no. That just means I've never heard of it. So here's how this works, Kimmick. Uh, I'll look that up off camera, obviously, to look into it and find out what kind of a game it is and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Um, but what I ask you to do is to go ahead and pick three games that are already on the list as a backup in case, for whatever reason, I say no. But I will look that up. So it's called The Invincible. Uh, I had a chance to look into it, Act. I'm sorry. It is actually right here in the look into it category, along with Mirror's Edge, which which was just added by Shadow Machine. I also need to get hold of Inquisitor Sero and Sion the Emperor at some point, because both of them have been donating towards games that have been denied <laughs> multiple times, and I haven't get, been able to get hold of them and be like, hey, quit it. <laughs> I said no. What, the ones on the, the Switch, Sub-Zero? I thought those were on the list. Or maybe just Gen 4 is on the list, in which case, ignore me. I like how his slipper is still out there. He's just eternally stuck with one slipper. That's what you get! That's what you get! Yes, GTA 6 has been added to the list uh, last week, I believe. No, that's wrong. That would have been added, like, a month ago. That's a good question, Ect. I'm not really the person to answer that, because I didn't play it. I do actually own it, but I have not played it. shopping cart. You'll never get it from me, kid. Ever. Give it. Oh, turn around. Give me that. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give me. It's my bell. I honestly have no idea what's coming out in 2024 at this point. I haven't really been paying attention. I am invisible. Okay, so... As our backups, we will go with Starfield, Alan Wake, Block, and Cyberpunk. 
Silk Song. Yeah, we'll see. Where's the gardener? Oh my god, he's just standing right there. Okay. Of course the gardener's the final boss. Break. Oh, oh, wrong way. What? Have we been tormenting these people? Oh my god. These poor people. These poor people. Yeah, not to go too much into it, but uh, there's a lot of game development companies that I hope the people who are working there can find better jobs soon. This last year has been a, a record-breaking, firing developers year. And yeah, that sucks. Well, that was interesting. Oh, excuse me. Point four six. Two point four six. It's the worst game I've ever played. Ever. See you around, Kemic. Happy New Year. See you in the next one. Yeah, no, this has been a hell of a year, Darts Monster. I don't want to get into polemic topics, but uh, there's a certain person who was... Um, aspiring to be a uh, presidential candidate and she was asked a certain question about the Civil War and uh, that was the end of her candidacy. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this whole year was just a thing. This this whole year sucked, honestly. There's been, don't mistake me, there's been some good stuff, there's just been some good games, some good friends. I figured you knew what I was talking about, Valerian. You know, I got to move in with my family. Um, I got a lot closer to a friend of mine. I've started the Star Trek lore run. And... You know, there's been some really good stuff. But it's definitely been one of those things where the good stuff has helped hold up. You know what I mean? The bad is so overwhelmingly weighting me down that the good stuff has been what's been keeping me upright. You know what I mean? This year sucked. <laughs> uh. Hey, Evo. Um, is it called impressionism, where you don't show every detail? You just imply detail?
Oh no, y'all helped. A lot of people helped. Like I said, this year, this year's been punching me in the teeth. It hasn't stopped punching me yet either. That's the best part. Oh, I love Impressionism. Uh, even when I myself am drawing, that's what I tend to lean on quite a bit. Um, so, so what she told me, Kira White Noise, is that the mobile game is a little bit different. In ignoring the obvious terrible control problem. Sorry, jotting down some thoughts. Give me just a second, please. Okay, so at the moment, let me just update the HUD really quick here. We got five pluses to story, seven pluses to gameplay, and two minuses to gameplay. All right. Oh god, that's a lot. That's actually a lot. Uh. Art Deco style? I don't even know what that is. So, um, I will, of course, behave like a true politician and pretend I know something that I don't. Art Deco is one of the most fantastic styles designed by the Da Vinci era. Within the pathos of how it evokes an impressionistic form of pastels along with deep blues utilizing dyes as well as... Um, a, 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 a form of gradients in its visual presentation, using the canvas to its fullest extent. You can understand exactly how the... Um, I can't, I've tried three times to think of the word. I can't think of the word. Acrylic. How the acrylics can merge with the canvas in order to create the true deco style. How do I lock it? Well, Bauhaus, which is pronounced Biawu Huawas, is one of the most fantastic utilizations of lack of color distinction, attempting to blend and blur every color into one universal ray of brown. The brown era of gaming was actually the Biahuahaos era of gaming, although for obvious reasons, the more uncultured amongst game critics do not like to use its more proper term.
it's actually really hard for me to do that kind of bull crapping on the fly. Where are his keys? There's a boot. Oh no, I've seen a lot of politicians who just read from a paper. And that paper was written by two, three, or four other people who may or may not have any idea what they're talking about. It actually is, Blade Troll, yes. I'm sure you've seen people giving speeches before, politicians, going back mm, 60 years, at least. And they're they're doing this. They're looking down like this. And they'll look up, and then they'll go to check their notes, and then they'll look up, and then they'll check their notes. Yeah, no, they're, they're reading. They're reading from a paper. Yeah, so there's our save answer from earlier. For some strange reason, that's always bothered me a little bit. On the surface, it, it shouldn't be necessary to be able to give a real speech. But, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I think you should be able to say whatever you're going to say and only have to look down for factoids, right? Like, look down and be like, alright, let's see, uh, 15.778, and then you keep talking, right? But then again, I'm probably harsher on politicians than most people, so what the hell do I know? Do your freaking jobs. All right, moving on. Actually, yeah, like my ruminations. That's... <laughs> hmm. Anyways, um... So we got his keys. All right, so we've locked him out of the garden. Oh, wait, no, we gotta get him out of the garden. Hey, frog animation. Oh... Actually, I'm with you on that, Valerian. If a debate was an actual debate, yeah, down. Let's let's freaking do it, right? Like if we could actually stand up there on 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 screen and actually debate an issue, because a lot of issues are not one answer issues or right answer issues, then that's valid, right? But yeah, exactly. That's not what debates debates are. Just spectator sport. Ah. No, I can't see what I'm doing. Why would you use facts and logic in politics? That's just crazy talk. Oh god, I got stuck in the terrain. No! How do you close this stupid door? Oh god, I can't move. Alright, hang on. No idea. No idea. Uh... Right. So I give up on that. Uh, let's see. Cabbage Picnic. Jesus Christ. No. No, I've already played Mario Sunshine this year. Uh, 
Um, I would say chaotic evil, because we obviously do a lot of things that are very just trolly, right? Like, we are being cruel at this point. Cabbage go. Oh god, where'd the cabbage go? Oh god. No, no, my cabbage. Cabbages, cabbages, barely even human. You've never met a cat, then, Friscobor. <laughs> oh my god. Leafy to the core. They're different from us! That means they can't be trusted! Did I actually get the thing stuck? Come on. Come on. Come on. Just just pick a direction and come out. Or don't. Oh my god, this stupid game. I've decided I hate this game, Evo. I'm gonna assign 15 additional negatives right now. Oh my god. Move this way. This really is just Mario Sunshine. Straight up. The worst level. Got its own negative, actually, if I'm remembering correctly. No, 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 no. Yeah, Unity Engine Physics. Pretty much... Yeah, we, it, it took us like 40 minutes, Melkor played. That sounds pretty horrifying, Act. I'm not going to lie to you. No, you can't grab it. You can only roll it. Which is why this sucks. Okay, we did it! We did one objective out of, like, 20. <sighs> Look at some of these. Oh my god. Look at some of these! We have to... So the basket over by the well. I don't know that we have to get a tulip, a lily, a rose, a daisy, and a chrysanthemum. It's probably in each area. And yeah, I noticed there are several screw the boy over, trap the boy in the garage, and uh, what was the other one? Um, trip the boy in the puddle. Yeah, just murder this boy. That's right. Always bow down to your geese, overlords. Was there one to break his glasses? Oh my god, it's timed!
I mean, you are that good at this game, Evo, as we know. <sighs> yeah, no, I, uh, I mean, <sighs> I have seen speedruns, but I've never seen speedruns that do 100%. They just go for the bell. And those speedruns are like three minutes long. Like, it's really, really, really short. Um, you can clip the head through things, and so you can open up shortcuts early. And pretty much just go right to the end and grab the bell and then run back. Ah, uh, okay. Remind me which one that one is, Savicom, because I actually don't recall right now. God damn it, you fell the wrong way. Oh, nope, that counted. Yay. My favorite glitch run thing to date is still Chrono Trigger. For those of you who never heard me talk about it, because I've mentioned it before, you remember the sequence in Chrono Trigger where you go to the courtroom and you have to uh, give testimony about what happened? So what happens is you take control of the game in the middle of the testimony, and the state of the game is different during those cutscenes, right? Because they were just designed to be quick cutscenes. So it's like, you there, tell us what exactly happened. He was like, sure thing. I saw the defendant run right into her and steal her money and then go up the thing and go into a portal and kill Lavos and save the world. I know, right? Master Jedi said it's like, uh, shoot! Pick up your damn glasses. Now run! Flee for your miserable life! Oh, I'm sorry, Savicom. Get in there! I will eat your soul! Shop scales go ding. Uh, there it is. Because it makes a nice so it's noise, Briscoe. I don't know. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. No, 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 no. What is this? Twilight Princess? Go that way. Go that way. God. I'm so looking forward to the Zelda block. You have no idea. Enjoy your new life, kid. Wait, how did that not count? 
Trap the boy in the garage. He's he's in the garage. He's trapped. Hey, there we go. Okay, so now. Oh, I need like one more item. Hey, there we go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to write a stupid character act. Make someone out. Uh, one thing you could do. Writing a stupid character has its own problems, right? But there's a difference between writing a stupid character and an unintelligent character. Someone who's just not intelligent is just normal, right? You know, Homer Simpson, back when he was written well, is a good example of this. Or, um, honestly, Sora, specifically in Kingdom Hearts 3. You know, he's just, he's just simple, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, and it, it's, it's kind of endearing because it's kind of normal. Um, that's how you write a stupid character, in my opinion, and actually make them interesting or good. Because if you want, if you just write an idiot, well, then you write Fry from Futurama, and that's just frustrating. And the more stupid, the more frustrating. To make someone from outside the high street buy back their own stuff. No idea how to do that. How do I do that, Evo? Listen, Valerian. Actually, yeah, Friskaborn. Exactly. Modern Homer is a much better example of how to write an irritating, stupid character. Honestly, I haven't watched Simpsons in a few years, so I don't know if that's still true, but I can actually point to a specific thing and really showcase how not to write Homer Simpson. The movie. For those of you who haven't seen the Simpsons movie, first of all, I don't recommend watching it. But second of all, Homer was aggressively... Like, he, he was the villain of that film. And I'm not actually joking about that. It was awful. Just terrible. Because it was one of those situations where you could tell they didn't want him to be the villain. He just was. I'm going to keep ignoring you, Evo. Every time you do that, it's like, nope. White noise. Yeah, exactly, Blatchfall. His stupidity and total lack of empathy. Like, he's he was a psychopath. A legitimate psychopath. And it was kind of disgusting. Now, Evo did unintentionally write one character as stupid. But it was a really well done archetype of stupid, so it worked out really well. I praised her for it. Praise, praise, praise. Oh, Borgen is definitely intended to be a stupid character. Probably in part because he is a stupid person. Borgen's a moron who uses incorrect vocabulary specifically to make himself seem smarter than he is. Damn it, I literally got stuck on the terrain. God, this game's controls. He uses correct constabulary. Obviously. God damn it, Russ. Why would you do this to me? game controls. I hate how this game controls so much. Come here. 
Oh god. 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 Can't move. Can't move. Okay. Okay. I can move again. Give me that. I'm sorry, Subicom. No! God damn it. What? Oh, now he doesn't care. You know what? I'm okay with that. Let me see here, lady. There we go. Okay, now... Hang on, hang on. Now we just gotta drag him back. Now that it's there. And he's not looking for it. Imagine doing this on a timer. <laughs> Listen, Melkor. It was going to be multiple negative territory until we changed the options to make it less frustrating. What are you doing? Give me that. Mine now! God damn it, I couldn't tell if he was coming with this camera. This camera is so terrible. Ah, come here. I can't even tell if he's following. He doesn't appear to be following. Why isn't he following? Ah. Ah, thank you, Russ, very, very, very much. Always appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go find out what you put in that torch. Uh, we've technically already beaten it. Mark. Okay, so Zelda block, Pokemon Violet, and Pokemon Arceus. Yeah. <sighs> Um, you don't, act is the answer to that question. If you need a character to be stupid in order to advance the plot, then pretty much by definition, you have just handed them the idiot ball. <laughs> Having said that, I'm already arguing with myself on that point. Having said that, there is a way you could probably have someone be stupid without having it be like idiot balling. Oh, notice your jam. Notice your jam. Notice your jam. It's the jam. Why aren't you noticing your jam? No. Oh, God. Go this way. So, um, Infinity War. Uh, Chris Pratt's character, I can't even think of the name of Star-Lord or whatever his name is. Well, that's his name. Um, he did something that was very stupid, but it was understandably stupid. It was dumb, worthless, and terrible, and it completely ruined everything. But at least there was a degree of logic presenting it. It, it wasn't just, he was just like, I'm dumb. Instead, it was, there was a logical reason for him to be dumb. Yeah, being in the moment can explain a lot. Now, I hesitate to encourage you to lean on that too much, because a lot of idiot ball moments are actually writers doing a bad job of doing in the moment. Uh, but 
What? No! No! <sighs> Congratulations, Savako. Favorite example of the idiot ball? Non applicable. I hate the idiot ball. And the more I see it in fiction, the more I'm pissed off by it. It's one of those things that I just I cannot stand in fiction. And I've been analyzing fiction for over a decade now, and trust me, it's common. Common to the point of frustration. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The idiot, if you reach the point of being the idiot ball, you have reached the point of bad writing. Idiot Ball is a moment in which a character does something stupid specifically to advance the plot because of bad writing. That's why it was so hard for me to come up with an example of someone who was did something dumb, notice I phrased that differently, which advanced the plot. It took me a minute to actually come up with a counterexample. They exist, but yeah. My go-to example for Idiot Ball? Oh, jeez, I don't know. Let's go to Google really quick here. Let's see here. I mean, I tend to hate because plot in general. Just, just across the board. Let's see here. Let's go with video games. Idiot Balls and video games. Um, you know what? Actually, yeah. Getting Tychus out of the suit in StarCraft 2. Too many ways they could have gotten around that. Nope. Um, actually, no, that's an even worse example. Final Fantasy VIII, Quistus, the assassination mission. Enough said. No, he never did, Evo. He he just took his thing and ran off with it. He just frickin' left with it. Yeah, Michael and Trevor in GTA V had a lot of idiot ball stuff. It's just, come on. <sighs> yeah, Tegan and Dragon Age. There's, there's a lot of examples of idiot ball. It, there's a lot. That's why it's so much harder to come up with a good example of someone being stupid in a way that makes sense and works. Uh, it happens. It does happen. <sighs> All right. Um... Uh, okay. I steal his tulip. As soon as he leaves. Go away, I'm not stealing your tulip. Where is he going? Oh, okay. He's just being weird. No, yeah, that that scene is going to get multiple negatives when we go back through for the review. Like, no question. Yeah, low gain is a good example. Low gain is a good example of someone who does stupid things, but you can kind of see why. I still think they don't get full credit for that because it's clear there's some retconning going on there. But on your second playthrough, you can look at that and be like, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, oh god, there we go. Let, look, you said the basket when I was right next to it. I was right next to the basket, and I was like, oh, okay, basket. I am a good person who follows directions well. Except I am not, apparently. How many baskets are there in this freaking godforsaken town? What other baskets? I don't see any other baskets. What basket? <laughs> what other baskets are there? I was going to get a nap in today because I'm so tired, but instead I'm trying to figure out what basket to put this tulip in. Okay. 
Oh, you, gotcha. You're telling me to do the flower quest, not the, the vendor quest. Gotcha. You know, as I watch this goose move along, I can only think of one music that's appropriate for this. Yep, got a level agility. It weirdly goes with a lot of things, Lord Aramont. I continue to be surprised at how many games this music fits for. That's true, Dark Prince Revan. That's absolutely right. And no, I do not act. I actually haven't bought the soundtrack and I need to do that at some point. The shovel? Okay. Oh man, that was yes, that's gonna be great. I actually want to review Sims 3 someday. That that's a that's a bucket list kind of a thing. Because that's gonna be a long review. But I, I have many, many, many fond memories of Sims 3. Uh, you can guess the song, Act. Oh no, Sims 3 just crushed Sims 2, in my opinion. Sims 3 was peak, absolutely. No question. No question. Bingo. I admittedly didn't try Sims 4, and I have no plans to ever do so. <laughs> Sims 2 was okay, to be clear, but Sims 3 was the one that hooked me. I actively didn't like Sims 1. I thought that was just dull, because there's too little to do. Too limited, too restricted. First house I ever made, I'll never forget this, first house I ever made, uh, my Sims all died. Not because of deliberateness, but because the, the game was so limiting in uh, navigational space that I put in a table and chairs, and then they died because they couldn't eat or breathe or drink or where is he going? I mean, Sims 3's DLC doesn't exactly get a free pass. Like, how much is there? How much How much is this Sims 3 DLC is there these days? No, I'm serious. I know that's the meme, but I was never one of those people who liked killing off my Sims. I enjoy management games in general, you know? I enjoy building a city. I enjoy building a house. I enjoy, you know, managing energy and resources and trying to make a job work and blah, blah, blah. I like that. So, I got into the, the thing. Actually, that's a good question. Can we? Oh, we can! We can just turn this off completely. Hell yeah! There we go. Yeah! That's hysterical, Dr. Winter. Hey, dude. Shouldn't this count for locking him out? See around, Savicom. Be good, be fun, be well, be run. Sorry, Tarch Monster. Well, that counted, apparently. Alright. That sounds like Sims Medieval, Lord Hermon. Not that I'm saying it is in Sims 2. <laughs> 
Speaking of which, I wanted to like Sims Medieval more than I did. But the problem is, it just had two little Sims in it. It was just kind of like, okay. Oh yeah, then there was herbs, which we're not even going to talk about that nonsense. No, I believe you, Lord Himmel. I'm just, it, that does sound a lot like Sims Medieval to me. Hey, 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 hey. The evil. The evil, yes. Yes. That'll be 550. <laughs> This twit is so evil. <laughs> God. Okay. Uh, get thrown over the fence. Okay. I'm gonna go for a couple more, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up. I, I probably should have already wrapped up, to be honest with you, but whatever. We gotta have this amazing music first. Leveling agility. Sure, just tell me. Just tell me, Evo. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I had an idea. Here's how wrong I was. Could be Lord Herman. I don't know. I've never played uh, Sims on console before. Go faster. <laughs> Go faster. Whoop, wrong thing. I want to, like, grab it. Uh, there we go. Yeah! Rip and tear! Oh, man, I'd play the hell out of that Frisco Mark. And you just, you, instead of killing the demons, you're just a dick to them. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We're not leveling agility, we're leveling neck strength. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, dude. I like how he automatically assumes it's hers, by the way. What a dick. What a dick. Okay, catch an object as it's thrown over the fence. I mean, honestly, Blade Travol? Okay, 
Okay, so... Can it be anything? Because if it can be anything... I got this. Because I'm quick enough. No, random, no! Come on, I'm on, a, I'm on the clock now. I'm not going to make that in time. Yeah, nope. Yeah. Okay, that took way too long. I'll right, we'll do a bra. <clears throat> Thank you, random. Always appreciate. If you want to put them towards up to three things, let me know. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is it. What? No, you gotta actually toss it, dude. <laughs> the hell was that nonsense? I don't know if that counted. Looks like that did not count. Okay. Needs to be something a little more weighty, I think. That's a little too weighty. Uh, Breath of Fire 3 is already funded, so you gotta pick something else. Pick something else to be destroyed! You have five seconds to comply. Mother 3, it's Enablade 3! It was such a non-throw, though. Zeno tilt. And the whole time, they're spouting like pseudo psychological gib gibberish at you. Uh, dealer's choice. Okay, so nothing. Got it. Thank you, Randall. Okay, come on. This is gonna be the last one I go for. I need like a ball or something. Wait, is it really Frisco Board? I thought you were joking. Ooh, here we go. This might work. Hey, this will work. Ugh, if I could get... Okay, fine. Whatever. Or not? Let me back in. Let me back in. Let me back in. Let me... Yeah! Ha-ha! Ah, physics! Oh, God. I am physicsing so hard right now. Can you even tell? Like, I am bugging out. There we go, there we go. It does not like this thing. So we need to put it, like, way up there. We need to run. Actually, I'm, I'm just way too slow. Way too slow. No, 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 no. Favorite character in the game? I think we all know the answer to that one. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Ah! God damn it! Okay, hang on. One other idea. I've got. I've got another idea. I've got another idea. Let me physics my way up the wall here for a second. Physics! 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 Oh, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, now we're going to wait and hope he notices. <sighs> so far, basically everyone's liking RFF2. So I'm happy about that. And if you haven't seen it yet, please go watch it. We spent a lot of time and effort on it. I especially spent way too much time and effort on it. Way too much. Wait. Wait. Okay, he's up. He's up. He's up. He stood up. He's sitting down. He's sitting down. He's drinking his tea because he's a moron. This is it. 
it. This is it. This is it. Booyaka! Okay. Oh god, oh god, there we go. No, I appreciate you being honest about it, Lord Hermon. As weird as that probably sounds. Like, I'd rather you tell me honestly that it sucked rather than be like, oh man, it was so great, Lore. But, you know, it wasn't. Yeah, I... Oh, God, I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck on the terrain. Ah! Yeah. No. No. You stupid twit. Well, the upcoming page is up to date, but the upcoming command is not up to date. That helps any. I'm sure it doesn't. This is it. Oh, come on! Now it's fixed, as it should have been already. Listen, this is just triumphantly dramatic, Frisco. You don't even understand. Alright, hang on, hang on. Just for Frisco. Just for Frisco. Give me that. That's what I have to say about that. The tulip's gone. That's interesting. Okay, do I need to get in without a box? How do I get in without a box? Uh, okay. First we assert dominance.
Kiva, we need to have a chat. <laughs> this is really frustrating. I'm just gonna go for it. I got this. Oh, come on! There! <laughs> Geese once again proves superior. Booyaka. Uh, let's see. Score a goal and sail the toy boat under a bridge. Okay. So I don't know where the toy boat is. It's right up here. I'm invisible. I'm not going to do the flower quest. I've already, like, partially failed it. No. I am, as ever, your dancing goose. Try that one. Uh, I'm gonna go with no act. I think Undertale is sufficiently self contained that it shouldn't be that long. Even the Undertale Theater was only, um, gosh, like five hours long, something like that. Let me move! Let me move! No! God damn that stupid delivery lady! I want you to die so badly! God, I want you to die. Oh, it's gonna be trash act. Almost guaranteed. Goal, not doing that. Steal the old man's woolen hat. And dress up the bust with things from outside the garden. Eh, no, probably about the same quality of Halo is what I'm expecting. Okay, so... Hmm. 
Yeah, it's true. We actually earned that flower, and he's just stealing it. The one good act we did, and he's like, Bruh. Good morning, Ross. It was below average, is what I would call it, Act. We were just talking about the boob plate, S.A. Ross. No, really. No, no, that's why I'm stealing his, uh, his chair. You should sit down, though. Your back hurts. You need to take a settle. No, seriously, just sit down. Stop thinking about how your chair is in there and sit down. I like that. Oh my gosh, it's a goose! And then she just sits back down. Where did where did he go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, your chair's back. Isn't it great how your chair is there and you can rest on it? Isn't that an awesome thing? Do it. So, score a goal we're not doing, timing stuff we're not doing, flowers we're not doing. So, all that's left is dress up the bust with things from outside. Evo? We do have this hat now. This whole time, Evo is very, very slowly typing, No, you moron! Why are you using the hat? It won't work! You're dumb! God, you're terrible and I hate you! But she's typing it in, in like, a very meticulous manner, like an artist would. So I'll already be here with the hat by the time she said anything. Okay, so toothbrush, I know where that is. Glasses from the shop, I know where that is. Alright, we got this.
so you're saying you're not slow, Evo. Excellent. And now I have video record of that. Yes, I'm playing on the Switch. Ugh, I wanted to relax my hands. Also, that's why we're in 16 by 9 mode. Although, I'm not sure if you could do uh, the PC version in any other four... <laughs> resolution, excuse me. Oh, here's the box that we don't need anymore. <laughs> okay, one down. Let's go grab the teeth brush. Not really, Act, but I admittedly haven't looked at them while. The problem is... Getting one controller working on the PC is a joke. It's very, very easy to do. Getting two to work in conjunction, that requires multiple third-party softwares and some finagling, and I never actually got it working right. So I I failed at that. Besides, I, uh, I'll be playing Breath of Fire 1 with a new Christmas gift I just got. Or one of the Christmas gifts I just got. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet. So, one of those Christmas gifts is a PS5 controller. So we'll be seeing how that plays and how that feels. The other one is an Xbox One controller, or an Xbox Essex controller, excuse me. I guess they're the same thing, but whatever. This music is very appropriate for the goose. There's the ball. He's still pissed about that. Don't blame you, buddy. All right, toothbrush, toothbrush. Um, yeah, I imagine Breath of Fire 1 will have a similar thing that some other games we've reviewed will do. Where it's there's so little meat on its bones that it won't really review badly because there's just not much to give negatives to, you know? Okay. The only thing they fear is you. Wish we could carry more than one thing at a time, because then we could get out the glasses too, but No, I actually have a playlist called Villains. I believe so, Ross, although don't quote me on that. online multiplayer. Can someone look that up for me, please? There's nothing here. You're seeing things. Hello. I don't know how your fence fell apart. It wasn't me. Uh, probably not, Act, no. Exactly. Peace was never an option. Okay, so we've got E, uh, Europa, Universe, all that's four. Borderlands two and BLTPS, BMA. 
Either way, thank you, Sub Zero. I do always appreciate. Thank you. But for real, what the heck is BLTPS? Oh, Borderlands pre sequel? Is that on the list? Someone check for me, please? Because I don't actually know if it is or not. Oh, we're not on random. That's why. So let's just do this. Bacon, lettuce, tomato per second. I love it. Oh, you know what? Let's go with Evo's original music suggestion, shall we? Probably not very long, because I also know what I'm doing, like, in addition to that, so I've got a built-in walkthrough. That's what I thought. Would you like to add it, Sub-Zero? Now, if you do, that's all that it's going towards, because that's the rule. But I'm more than cool with you adding that, if you want to. I intend to not use a walkthrough for three. We'll see how that goes. Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah. Sorry, Evo, that's a much better suggestion. Sure, what's your Patreon name? If that's the one I think it is, then yes, Ect. If it's not, then, then no. Alright, screw it. Where's the flowers? We know where one of them is. Where's all the flowers? D let me let me start with a better question. Does this flower right here count as one of the flowers? I'm gonna assume the answer is yes and already move towards that. Three flowers, I know where they are right off the top of my head. What, Kofi? I'm going to keep going with Kofi, if that's okay with you. I mean, if you 
say lo-fi or hi-fi, I'm pretty sure I know what you mean. Yeah, there's also coffee involved. That's just never acceptable. In the village? Oh, it's going to be the worst one. We should do that next. Yeah, sorry. This was your prized flower. You know, the one your wife left you? Well, the lady you're sleeping with next door clipped it by accident. That's okay, because I made her do it. So you don't have to blame her. Just go make it up to her, if you know what I mean. Secretly, this whole time, I've also scheduled it so that his wife gets back, like, right now and catches them in the act. So now I've ruined his life twice. You weren't such a dick. Oh, I would never kill his wife. There's so many worse things I could do to someone than kill them. Oh. No, the goose is spreading. Let's be honest with ourselves. Joking aside, I think I know a song that'll work here. Give me a sec. This thing, right here. This one. I'm gonna assume that's a yes. God damn it, Kara White Noise. People stop giving me money, damn. Right, I need to figure out. Sub-Zero's thing, hang on. So I need to find an archer. Here, and this. This. Give me a second. Give me a second. I got I got a paperwork really quick here. Of course there is. See an archer, Sub Zero. Help me out here. Why didn't I do Kofi? There's actually a specific reason I didn't go with Kofi, and I'm trying to remember what it was. I mean, I could set it up and let it be an alternative. I'm not going to shut down my Patreon. That would be suicide. Sub Zero's thing. I, I believe you, Sub Zero. Oh, there it is. Why is it not? Oh, probably because I already wrote it down. 
Yeah, okay, that tracks. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rearrange this a little bit. This up here. Uh, well, so far I prefer the PS3 one, but I haven't played the PS5 one extensively, so don't quote me on that. And there's so many donations I have to log in. Okay, okay, okay. I do prefer the 5 over the 4. I never actually liked the 4 that much. Solve that little problem. Joysticks are neat and all, but honestly, D pads are where it's at for me. And the buttons need to feel right and it needs to be comfortable to use, and blah, 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 blah. So. Rogue Trader, Talos Principle 2. And the Rift Breaker. Damn it, Javin! I was just about to say, and I'm caught up! <sighs> well, I haven't used the Xbox one yet. Thank you, Care White Noise. I do always appreciate. Thank you. I have put that towards the three things you just mentioned. And thank you, Javin, for your support and continues. I hope you're having a good New Year, Eve. Whatever. I hope you're going to have a good New Year's. And if you're not, then what are you doing, man? All right. <clears throat> where am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Oh, God, I'm lost. Stopped being appropriate music. Shoot. Fine, we'll go with the default. The, I think it's the 360 controller. I honestly hated. Um, not because, like, it's, it's particularly a bad controller, but because its D-pad is terrible. It's not the worst D-pad I've ever used, but it's certainly up there. I, I was not a fan of that thing. And again, D-pad's usually more important to me than analog, so... Uh, okay, so now we need to go this way. Um, it's a game called, comma, I kid you not, comma, Untitled Goose Game, period. You play as a goose, period. Yeah, the, the 360 D-pads were awful. They might as well just have been another analog, which kind of defeats the point of a D-pad. Meanwhile, Evo has refused to watch the ending here. So the, thing is. the Sega Master System controller. Well, um, that's just, it's too much. I, I can't take it. I can't deal with it. There's too many buttons on it. In all honesty, I've actually never liked a Sega controller. Dreamcast, Genesis, or Master System. I think those are the only ones I've actually used. I don't like this music either. Hmm. No, no, I know the kind of music this, this game needs. Hang on, hang on, let me get away from Twitface. Are you going to stop following me at some point? Holy crap, look at this. No, 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 no. Give me that. Give me that. Give me. Oh, actually, you know what? I have also played the Saturn, and that also was not a good one. No, yeah, sorry. So I actually do have a good soundtrack. Hang on. I just thought of something that'll actually work for this. Give me a second.
Okay. Tulip and a daisy. I know where the daisy is. Yeah, Yakety Sax is astonishingly copy-wronged. It's one of those copy-wronged songs I've ever had to deal with in my show. No joke. So I try not to use it, even though it's really useful in several cases. Yes, really. I'm not actually joking. It is turbo copy wrong. The only thing I've ever had worse issues with is the vocal sounds songs in Kingdom Hearts games. I didn't like the Dreamcast controller, but it wasn't the worst controller I've ever used. Like, I'd put it, like, below average, you know? Good, Sierra Mike. <laughs> the Wii U... I actually rank the Wii U very high. No joke. It's comfortable. It's got great construction. It's got... It's, uh, it's got good position layout, and it's just... I don't know. It's generally a good controller. I'm very fond of it. Yeah, the width actually helps me. So, you know, I like not having to do this when it comes to playing a controller... The Wii U isn't perfect, but the extra width actually is more comfortable for me, physically. It's not perfectly, because, you know, I, I, I can't do what I'm doing right now with the Switch controllers, which are the best controllers. But, it's still leaning in that direction. You'll miss that, Evo. What a jackass. Alright, what am I missing? I'm missing the Tulip. Why the hell is the Tulip? You mean... This controller... Oh, sorry. This controller, Javin. I didn't pull it out of the box yet. Right there by the PS3 one. PS5, excuse me. Uh, Garden. Oh, right, 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 right. The one that he took back. The one that, you know, I started with and then he reclaimed like a dick. I will also admit I don't like the Switch Pro controller, which is funny because a lot of people I know swear by it as the best controller they've ever used. I am not one of those people. I don't like it at all. Whoa there. You know what? Screw you, dude. Give me that. Give me that. Give me. Okay, fine. You want to be a dick about it? I wasn't going to mess with your stuff, but now I'm going to mess with your stuff. Out of my way. You're suing the Pro Controller? Five, five? No, I, that's my point. Like, I think I'm just weird. Because most people, including several of my friends, say the Switch Pro Controller is their actual top controller. Like, their absolute favorite. And for me, I just, I never liked it. I actually gave mine away. Boom! So all we're missing... Other than the ones we're not doing, which is the time stuff, is scoring a goal. So where's the goal? <laughs> no, I caught it going. The tea drinker. See, I figured it was over here. Oh, I know where it is. How the hell am I going to get it there? How's that even possible? Okay. We'll figure this out. Let's go get the ball first. I actually have no preference, uh, Blade 12, believe it or not. Although, since I'm so used to the PS3 controllers, I'll say above because of that. No, like, how do I get it through the fence? Because there's, like, three fences I have to go through to get there. The first one is easy. That's just a big hole. The second one I have to pull over the yard. How do I get through the third one? With the ball. Hmm. 
My ball. Yeah, this is going to turbo suck. This is going to be as bad as the cabbages, if not worse. Oh my god. I'm having trouble just going like 10 feet. Never mind through terrain. We're going to nice and steady this, I think. Not going to try and kick it, not going to try and run it. We're just going to try and slow-mo this. That's bad. All right, hang on. Oh, that's getting worse. Shut up, whimsical music. No, left, left! Okay, we're okay. We've gotten past the first camera hurdle. Probably not the last one. What would you do if you saw a goose doing this? Just going down the street as you're walking down and you just see this. Like this goose meticulously navigating this stupid ball. Well, this music played. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That'd be even funnier. Oh, I guarantee you I'll get that kind of comment act. Absolutely. I saw people defending the controls of Trico in The Last Guardian because it was more natural to controlling a cat and therefore made the game better, and therefore my complaint was invalid. throw it over like a dick because he's a dick you can always rely on a dick to be a dick yeah actually yeah shadows of colossus had the exact same issue i agree and i'm i'm, I'm not like down on shadows of colossus don't mistake me but i don't consider it the you know the greatest game of all the universe like some people do like that's usually listed in one of the best games ever lists and i look at that like really Now the hard part, the part I was actually dreading right here. I'm still not sure how to do this. So we're just gonna fail immediately. Just immediately. Okay, hang on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey! There we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a freaking slant to the wall. Okay, hang on. Up. Up, 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 up. Ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Goal. And that's everything. Or at least that's everything we're going to do. Because the only other thing to do is to do it all over again, but timed. So that is as 100% as we are getting. I want you to know that doing those optional hard modes took literally 
as long as doing everything else. <laughs> Just for perspective. All right. We're not going to have to do much of an audit, but let's be thorough. Let's make an audit of it, shall we? Um, also, I uh, I think I'm not going to do a second shift today, guys. I really hate to pull that trigger. That was the decision I was debating earlier. Because, uh, honestly, because I'm exhausted. And it's we're already 20 minutes into my lunch break. So tomorrow we'll start Breath of Fire. And yeah, it's it's New Year's Eve. What's funny is I'm just gonna go lay down. I'm I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> no, I, I really wanted to stream today actually because it's New Year's Eve. But like, I'm just I'm just tired. Sorry. Um. This was a fun stream to come back to. That's true. Breath of Fire 1 will be the best game of 2024. Briefly. For two games, actually. Last time I stayed up to midnight uh, Eastern time. Years ago, at least. Like, years and years ago. It'll also be the worst... No, no. It'll be the worst game of 2024 briefly, but then Breath of Fire 2 will come out. So, for two games, for a couple of days, Breath of Fire 1 will be the best game of 2024 amongst two. And for those of you who don't care about the score and are bowing out now, Happy New Year's. I do hope 2024 is freaking better. Because holy crap. Yeah, and then Breath of Fire 3 is going to come out and wham! That's going to be the end of that. But for two games, Boff 1 will be the best one. Alright, um... Uh... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this under puzzle, I think. I, I think I already made that decision. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, BOF 3 actually has a real shot at being best game of 2024 for a while. Though, I should mention a lot of the upcoming games, I don't actually know what they are. Like, off the top of my head. Someone hit uh, exclamation mark next really quick, please. Hey, did it before I even said it. So, yeah. Um, Lunar, I'm pretty sure BOF 3 is going to be Lunar. Wildermyth, I don't know anything about. Oxygen not included. Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, Invisible Ink, Wargroove, Man Eater, Star Wars Squadron, Ruiner, Cthulhu Save the World, Tiny Kin, Kojin Sword. I don't know. That yeah, Both 3 might actually rain until we get to the Metroids. That's a that's a real possibility. Uh there's actually a new another game in that list, um, which I haven't updated that list for yet, and I apologize for that. Um Wait, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts isn't out yet? For real? Hold up, pause. Because I own that game already. I mean, obviously. Yeah, there it is. No, it looks out. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure the only reason I allowed it uh, to, to be out of the list was because it was out. Had to double check, though, because, yeah, I want to be sure about that kind of thing. 
Anyways, moving on. All right, where the hell was I? Untitled Goose Game. Let's do this. So, uh, all roads lead to Rome. Uh, yeah, actually, that's absolutely a positive. Um, we've got realization. Yeah, there's another game. I can't remember what it's called right now. Give me, you know what? Hang on, it's over here. That's a shame, Von Falkenstein. I've actually been looking forward to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts for a while. It was one of my my picks, too. But, um... Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember anything right now. Someone else put it forward. Mark of the Ninja, that's it. So Mark of the Ninja will actually be in there, too. just right now while I'm thinking about it. I'm sufficiently scatterbrained that I need to not be finishing up. So it's going to be, let's see, we've got Wildermuth and then let's do it let's do it this way. Sorry, Panka. Sorry, not sorry. Mark of the Ninja Remaster. There we go. And then I'll update the local thing. So that's going to be... Oh, God. Breath of Fire 1 through 3, Lunar, Wildermyth, and then Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. That's a really good question, Ross. I do not know. We'll see. Super Metroid is just such a weird, weird game to think about. It is a pillar of game design now. Like, there are games, even in the same genre, with, with, with full development team and AAA and all sorts of modern features, that still don't quite reach the level of Super Metroid, because that game is just crazy well designed. It's weird. Yeah, exactly, Chauvin. Super was... I don't know what they were smoking those years, but damn, they managed it. Worst Metroid game? Probably one. Um, the, only, the other contender would be Other M, which we are reviewing. And update. I like Samus Returns. You're talking about the 3DS one, right? Hey, Alchemist. Looking forward to Star Wars Squadron soon? I am. I've been wanting to play that game since it came out. Alright, um... Back to the audit. Do I think Other M will be bottom 10? No. So... I have crapped on Other M for many years, but I should probably mention I've only played it once. And most of the bad things about it are things that aren't the end of the world, if that makes any sense. Like, it's one of those situations where people crap on it more than it probably deserves. Well, there's this thing called Dealer's Choice, Alchemist. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. And one of the things, the primary thing, actually, one, two, three, four, that I tend to put Dealer's Choice towards is not actually games I want to play, weirdly enough, but I put it towards games that people have been consistently and persistently funding over time uh, as a way to say thank you to those people for continuing to support me for long periods of time. And I happen to know you are one of the people who's been putting money. You're not the only one, but you and, like, three other people have been putting money towards squadrons for months and months and months now. Um, a couple of years, I think, actually. So... 
Almost every game we're about to stream is a game that's like that. It's a game that people have been consistently putting money towards for long periods of time. And so we are dealers choicing them in order to get them funded so that we can try them out. And again, as a bit of a thank you for people who have stuck with me through all the years. Controls camera level. Yeah, you'll notice this is a bit of a miscellaneous block. That's because almost every game on the, that is currently about to be funded, or, or rather, currently about to be run, excuse me, the games that were just funded, are the games that are niche. Almost all of them are niche games that uh, just didn't have the interest from people, but, again, had persistent interest, which is something I pay attention to. And yeah, it's, it's nice to have some variety now again. I, I tend to be like, let's try such and such out. Okay. Did I have fun with this game? Absolutely, Evo. I know I've been a little bit less charismatic today because I'm, I'm barely capable of stringing two thoughts together. But no, this is a fun game. You notice I did bother to 90% the game, too. The only things I didn't do were the time things. I'm not doing the time things. PFR! Exclamation mark. PFR. If you don't know what it means. Normally, I would, um, normally I would, uh, ding the game for, uh, traversal mechanic, because walking is dumb and running is dumb, but honestly, I think that's mostly in the controls, and the levels are so small, it's not really a big deal, so I don't think it's worth double dipping on a negative there. I mean, now that I know what to do, I probably could manage it, but... Again, PFR, and I I need to get some food in me. I'm already starting to feel a few hunger pains, uh, and because I didn't have much of a breakfast, because I was in a hurry, because I was running behind. And also, I need to uh, I need to just lay down for a bit. Oh, immediately act. Ignoring the obvious reasons, I would not do a genocide route. The fact of the matter is, the genocide route is grindy as balls. Like, boring grind. Like, God, why am I even bothering with this boring grind? So, we would probably fa fail the PFR check in the first level for that. In the, in the ruins, the tutorial ruins. So what do y'all think? Sierra Mike mentioned the possibility of ringing the bell at the end. Basically, the outro being a story positive. What do y'all think? I'm still going through the audit really quick, but... A lot of these things don't apply to a game like this. Grind and leveling? Nope. Hub and town? Nope. HUD? Non-existent. Kit? Non-existent. Minimap? Nope. Checkpoints? Nope. Music? Nope. Replayability. I don't think I'm going to give this a replayability positive. This was fun, but it reminds me a lot of um, The Stanley Parable. A game that just doesn't really qualify for replayability in the traditional sense of the word. I mean, at the moment, the I think the only game we've covered that tops replayability is Crusader Kings 3. Because that's kind of the... I, by, by definition, that's pretty much the king of replayability, is when you've got a game like that, right? Like Stellaris would be a triple positive. Probably by definition, yeah, Dr. Hunter. Yeah, exactly, Javin. Well, again, that's why I use Stanley Parable as an example, first of all. Because... Um, that's, 
was an extraordinarily unreplayable game. Does Chrono Trigger get a triple replay positive? I'm not sure. But Chrono Trigger will probably get at least two New Game Plus positives. I haven't decided if it gets the third. I will actually have to consult Diablo 3 to debate that. Because Diablo 3, even though it's a technically, is the most New Game, is the best New Game Plus I've ever seen, still. So I'll have to compare and contrast that a little bit. But FF10 2 and Chrono Trigger will both get at least two New Game Plus positives. It is interesting to think about, doesn't it, Jobin? Because there's an automatic presumption, and you know there is. I'm sure you've done it just like I've done it. That because something is newer or bigger or more expensive means it should be worth more. Right? You know the mentality. Fresh reminder that uh, the Final Fantasy II rewrite is produced completely for free by by people just doing it in their spare time as a hobby. And it's freaking awesome. Please go watch it. <laughs> Seriously, go watch it. Um, let's see here. I think I will agree with Sierra Mike. You know what? There are games that absolutely have no business being as good as they are. Uh, frankly, Metroid Prime and Super, Met Super Mario RPG are my two go-to examples of that. But those obviously came out in the 90s. Uh, or early aughts, rather. 90s and early aughts. But there are still modern games where it's like, how is this this good? How dare you be this good? I mean, if I'm being completely honest, Mario Wonder being as good as it was kind of surprised me. One of the best rated games I've ever covered, and I stand by that. That is a freaking good game. Oh, you did wonderfully, Evo. Evo plays Tyree, and she does a great job of it. And she also um, did the artwork for the main characters and the main villain. And again, great job. She also was a consultant on, again, my art director on several things with regards to uh, how to do some of the animation. So she gets credit on that front too. This is interesting. So let's go ahead and do our golden number. I'm sorry I've been taking so long. I'm kind of slow today. And that's that's honestly, that's just on me. <laughs> Untitled Goose Game, 4.06 hours. Net plot plus to story, six. Net plus to gameplay, six. That gives us a ratio of 100% on the story axis and 75% on the gameplay axis, giving us a final golden number of... Normal, please. Twenty-nine point one six, and that sounds kind of low, and. Yeah, I understand that. Um, but I've started thinking about this because there's several games that are just chill games that never score well because they're chill games, but they're solid, right? And they're the kind of games that I absolutely and unhesitatingly uh, recommend. Um, a Short Hike qualified as that, and so did uh, Once Upon a Jester. was another game that qualified in the same category. Short, simple, sweet, good. So, I absolutely recommend this game. And, uh... I don't know what else to add to that. <sighs> Tomorrow we'll be playing Breath of Fire 1. Uh, yes! I think this does actually get the sushi tag. Absolutely. Uh, tomorrow we'll be playing Breath of Fire 1. And, oh, right, I gotta check the thing. 
Uh, God, I forgot about the guessing game, to be totally honest with you. I am out of practice. Let's see here. Um, nope, looks like Dr. Winter wins. Putting that towards Darkest Dungeon. So like I said, Breath of Fire 1 tomorrow. Have a good Happy New Year's. Oh, Dr. Winter, can you pick three things, by the way? Because even for the uh, the winning guessing game, you can pick three things. Same thing for Judo Joker, same thing for Panka. It looks like those are the only people who guessed today.